Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and here we are working on exercise number seven and this one is going to start off with a quick geometry lesson for those that need a little bit of a refresher in angles and measuring and we're going to start looking at the diamond shaped object on the bottom left of the exercise and if you go to the top you'll see it mentioned 67 degrees and in this case for reference I've mirrored it over and you'll see that it's 67 degrees coming down from the east axis and if you remember AutoCAD measures counterclockwise going clockwise is going to be negative 67 degrees for your first line because you've got the starting point of 1.5 3.5 so I'm just going to erase that and we'll go to the 48 at the bottom and you'll see that those are the same angle with the same line going through so we've got 48 degrees to work with and we know that we're drawing a line that's 48 degrees down but if you look at it another way we're just going to measure the angles and from the same starting point you'll see that it's actually 132 degrees combined with 48 would give you 180 degrees so in this case all I need to do is remember that it's 132 degrees so I start with the line and it's going to start at an absolute point of 1.5 comma 3.5 and from there it's going to go negative 67 degrees and two units long and there's the input for that now the next one we know is negative 132 degrees but we don't know the length so I'm going to be mirroring this shape so I'm just going to draw it an arbitrary length and trim it off later so I'm going to say four units at negative 132 degrees gives me that line now I don't care that it went over because I'm going to mirror it and starting at the end point I go straight up and I'm just going to type in relative 0 comma 3 which means I'm going directly up and I don't want to erase my source object so I go no press enter for the end default and I'm left with roughly the shape looks like a frog now let's just trim that up and now we have exactly the shape we need and just for a quick check you can see that I can and dimension the angles and that's going to be 67 degrees and if I dimension the other one at the bottom also with the angular dimension it's going to turn out to be 48 degrees just as we need so next shape is kind of a uh, Pac-Man type shape and we know that it's going to be two circles with a center point of 5 comma 4 the first one with a radius of 1 inch and the second one start with the same center point and here I enter in a same radius of 5 and go nope that's too big because I didn't read it it's the diameter of 5 so I start with the circle command again and the center point of 5 comma 4 and type in D for diameter and 5 for that so now I've got a line I can draw straight down and I can draw straight across and now all I need to do is check the angle I'm pretty sure that's going to be 90 degrees so I'm just going to erase that last one and now all I need to do is trim it up to get the final shape so I trim off the excess lines, the circle, and the inside lines. And now that is my final exercise complete. And a little bit of uh, cleanup on the dimensions, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, thanks for watching, mycadsite.com.